Good morning to everyone. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. All those videos which are switched off, switch it on. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, Sachut. Ma'am, can you repeat the activity this week? Maya, sir, can you repeat the activity? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. We we have to make a video mm. saying the how to make ice cream passage. Mm. We can add our own words or we mm. can delete some words. Mm. And you we have to send, ma'am. Mm. Uh, I don't know till which day, but mm. we have to. I think it. today and tomorrow. Okay, okay. See, when I say video, I don't want a video of you reading what I have given you. Okay? I am going to look at the content. Okay? I, it's, it's okay if you miss out some words, if you add some words, it's okay. My, the importance is going to be on how you present it. Okay? I'm going to look at the intonation. Yes? And the accent. Ma'am, we want to show the cup. Uh, one cup Not necessary you can just show actions i don't want cups i don't want milk i don't want sugar that's that's not important okay. okay please do not buy anything for this activity that is not important it's how we are going to do it is important okay, okay? the accent and the intonation with which you okay, do is only important the rest of it is not important you when i received your activity i just saw it today morning so I have not watched it. I will watch it and I will respond to you. Okay. Yes. Uh, so let's continue. Right. Ma'am. Yes, I am. Ma'am, uh, yesterday and before yesterday, my mother was having night shifts. That's why she didn't came home and my father will come from work at 8. That's why I can record it today my mother will come early that's why okay I okay no problem no problem don't worry it's okay right so so far we have looked at uh, the sounds of letters be it consonant letters be it vowels okay we looked at stress how to place stress on syllables what are syllables yes how can we identify syllables, which syllables will be stressed, which syllables will not be stressed in a word or a sentence? Then we looked at intonation. Okay? Yes. Right. So now coming on to, uh, going on to a different topic today. See, whenever we speak, be it English, be it our mother tongue, be it any language, we, if you notice, the way we write is not the way we speak. Yes? We speak a little faster. Yes or no? Yes. We speak a little faster. So sometimes we change the written format of the word. Okay, when we join two words, we omit certain words or we add certain words right if you have if you remember even when you're re learning malayalam when you're joining two words there is an addition of another letter or there is you take off one letter or that letter gets another format right so this happens in all the languages we do not speak as we write our written way of language is more formal yes each word has its, its uh, there are punctuations and everything is very formal in the written format. But that's not how we speak. Speaking is a little different. We speak faster and that's why sometimes we are not able to grasp what uh, the other people speak, but we can understand the written language. So today we are going to something called as Connected speech. Okay, it's called connected speech. So let's have a look at what connected speech is. 
just wait for this to open up okay so what will connected speech help us to do connected speech will help us when we are listening to native speakers native speakers by native speakers we mean uh the english people okay for them the language is english they are called the native speakers for us it is a foreign language right english is a foreign language for us it's not our mother tongue and we will also improve our own conversation skills so as it says here in natural conversation each word is not spoken in an overly formal manner we do not speak each word in a very formal way for example if i say i if you if i write i cannot do this when i write i will not write i cannot do this i can't so my uh, written is not uh, my spoken language is not as formal as my written language okay words flow together to make the speech sound fluent and natural okay so what happens when we do this when we do this we pronounce the end and beginning of some words and some changes appear like i was saying earlier when we are speaking when two words join sometimes some words are omitted some words are added some words change the form they are in okay so let's look at what all happens in a connected speech uh changes are this uh, are described as features of a connected speech so based on what change happens in words we can classify connected speech into four sections okay sounds linking two sounds link together two sounds join together sounds disappearing one sound disappears totally from that word sounds joining together okay two sounds join to form a different sound and sounds changing the e may become a e, or the a may become e so sounds may change all together so let's start with the first one which is sounds linking okay have you understood what i've told you so far yes you're yes, able to understand me right yes okay when you're keeping quiet i do not understand yes, if you're following me or not so we are going to look at the first type of sound uh, connected speech okay which is sound linking yes you can make a note of this somewhere so that you will remember you so that you don't get confused first one is sound linking right now what is sound linking okay linking is a way of joining the pronunciation of two words so that they are easy to say and flow together smoothly <clears throat> in english there are different ways this happens the first way this happens is possibly the most common sound in english which is the most common sound in english wow wow okay very good the first linking or that we are speaking of is the schwa sound in english okay if you get the sound correct then this is a really good way of making your pronunciation more accurate and natural okay so what is the sha sound let's listen to this it's a uh. a uh. okay and what is shwa like i said earlier any vowel can be pronounced as shwa and the pronunciation of a vowel letter can change depending on whether it is in a stressed position or not in a stressed position it will not have a shwa sound in an unstressed position it will have a schwa sound for example look at this word what is this word no. 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 is the sound of 
man man uh, what is this letter man what is the sound sound a long vowel sound a short vowel sound short vowel sound or long vowel sound short vowel sound short vowel sound and what is the short vowel sound of a a so it an a okay so the sound of a here is a which is a short vowel sound now i'm going to use this word again Postman. 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 Yeah. This is how postman. we have learned the word man, postman. Post. 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 I add a schwa here. My word is postman. 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 Yes. Postman. If you hear, if you hear the native speakers will be speaking, you will not hear them saying the postman has come. No, the postman is here. Schwa sound there. Okay. Most of the places where we use the long vowel R, they use a schwa sound. Postman? No, it's postman. Postman. So. That is a linking sound. I have joined two words here. I joined post man. plus man. So my short vowel a ah became a schwa. Postman. Got it? Yes. This is a linking sound. Okay. Is it confusing? No, no, you understood, right? No, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Yes, ma so, this is an example. See. Man, the R, the A has its full sound. Postman, the letter A now changes to the schwa sound. So, man, postman. Okay? Now, this is a word. Now, another example that we have, a common feature is the way and is pronounced or is spoken in connected speech. In connected speech, we do not say and. What do we say? And. 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 So, often this word is pronounced n in phrases such as fish and chips. We don't say fish and chips. We say fish and chips. Fish and chips. Okay. So we don't say fish and chips. We say fish and chips. Ma'am, the A and D will not be pronounced. That is what happens in connected speech. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Two is often pronounced T in connected speech. Okay. Like I said, I am going to... To the coffee shop is not required. I'm going to the coffee shop. To. Going to, to the coffee shop. Coffee shop. Okay. That's why, that's why their spoken language is faster. Because they do not pronounce the whole word. What have you ordered? I've ordered fish and chips. Where are you going? I'm going to the library. I'm going to the library. To is not required. And to, that's all that they say. Yes, if we are able to master this, that is where the. Uh, yes, Satchut, is there something? No, ma'am. Yes, okay. Okay, so these are some which we do not pronounce completely. Uh, and two, okay, it's quite contradictory contracted so we barely hear it yes to a person listening they will understand it's two but we do not say two we just say t. T. 
Okay. Again, this example we've already done. A cup of tea. I'll say it. Okay. If it says said slowly, a cup of tea. And if we go at a natural place, a cup of tea. Okay, when a word ending in a consonant sound is followed by a word beginning with a vowel sound, we get a smooth transition from one to another, cup of becomes couple. V. The off is shortened to v. Couple. Is it okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Ma Another example I will tell you. <clears throat> How can you shorten this? Because of. Good. Because of. Because of. Because. That's it. Because of. Because of. It's only when you say ah because of it takes a long time. Because of. Because of. So your speech gets contracted naturally. Okay. So what is the rule that they are saying? Sorry, I just closed it. Yes. Something. Ma'am, that last letter is V. Yes. Okay. So here you saw a cup of tea gets shortened to cup of tea. Cup of tea. Yes. Here again they have said because of. Yes. Another example is because of. Becomes because of. Because of. So let's uh, see what are the area in connected speech. Hmm? Linking isn't confined to the weak vowels. It can also happen to the strong vowels. Now we might think during linking we only remove the weak vowels. No, even if the vowel is a strong sound there, we remove it. Let's look at this. Don't forget to switch off the light before you go. When you listen to it, you may think you're hearing a word chof, switch off, chof, right? Don't forget to chof the light. The sweet is not there. Don't forget to switch off the light before you go out. There's no such word as chof, but you're just hearing it as chof. Ice cream instead of ice cream. Yes, look at the other example. See, these are this is how we hear it. Fried egg, we might hear it as fried egg. Fried egg. Fried egg. Ice cream, ice cream. This is how we hear the word. Ma'am, yes? S will be not. <coughs> I cream, ma'am. Hmm. I only will be pronounced. C E is not pronounced. No, yeah. see, Achud, even this is cream. Yes, ma'am. S C R E A M is also cream. Yes, ma'am. Yes, but yes. we do not hear it. Well, see, when I'm hearing ice cream, I am not hearing ice cream, right? I hear it as ice cream. I is separate, scream is different. Isn't that how I hear it? Has anybody said I am going to eat ice cream? Ice cream. No. It is ice cream. The scream is coming together, the I is separate. So it to a person who doesn't know spellings, they might think it is ice cream. 
Are you able to get the difference, Achyut? Yes, ma'am. Yes? Okay. Again, don't forget to turn off the light before you go out. Okay, focus on the go out part of the section. When a word ending in a vowel sound, go out, followed by another vowel sound, o, o. We need to add another sound to make the transition. Okay, you need to add something to connect that, right? When you say go out, can you hear a W in between? Yes, ma'am. I can hear a B. We yes, don't say go out, we say go out. Go. So, there is a linking W sound. What? So, between the go and the out, there is a linking sound. It's just to make that transition smooth. Yes? When we are going, supposing you are traveling somewhere by road, we all like to have the road very smooth. We don't like uh, holes and uh, bumps and all that on the road, right? Yes, yes or no? That makes the path very difficult. It makes, it, takes, it makes us take a longer time, right? If you have a road full of holes and uh, uh, bumps and if it's a very uh, drug road, it makes our journey very Difficult. tiring. It makes, it makes it very tiring. It takes a longer time. It's the same thing with our speech. If we had to say each and every sound, it will take a long time, right? By the time I finish my sentence, the other person would have gone. So, our speech has to be in such a way that we can, it is smooth, it is easier for us to express. And to make it smooth, what do we do? We just sometimes add some sounds or delete some sounds. It's for our benefit, to make, to make it easier for us. Yes? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So, here, go out becomes go out. Another example is of this W sound is do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Again, here. No entry. No entry. There's a W sound. No entry. There is also a linking Y sound that can be heard in some transitions. Yes, I am. I am. Yes, I am. you don't hear it as I am. You hear it as I am. Can you hear the Y sound? I am. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, I am. Okay, don't try to deliberately emphasize these linking sounds as you want a sound natural. This is one thing I want to say. Okay, just because we have learned this, don't deliberately try to put it into your speech. See, all this comes very naturally for the Britishers or the Americans or those who have English as their native language. For us, this is a foreign language. We are learning this language, right? Yes. So, all this linking and uh, disappearing appears very naturally for them. Like how, how we speak Malayalam, how we omit certain words, how we add certain words, how certain sounds are only, uh, only, uh, only we are able to take out those sounds. Yes? Yes. So, similarly, in English also, all these additions and omissions are very natural to them. So, whenever we are trying to speak, please do not deliberately do all this. It will sound very artificial. 
okay your accent will sound very artificial which is not what we want we want a natural accent okay. yes but understand that this is what happens when we are trying to speak this is what happens in connected speech okay so this will come with practice listening and speaking you have to listen yes which is not happening in most of your cases once accent class is over finished ma'am gives an activity take the video or uh, take the uh, phone record it send it over done ma'am my accent is over accent doesn't come that way you have to listen a lot of videos on youtube just take bbc or watch the national geographic channel watch the discovery channel so many interesting videos keep listening to all those all this will naturally come to you instead of watching all those uh, silly cartoons ma'am i watch e in english videos only even if you watch english videos please make sure you watch ones with good language yes ma'am there yes okay yes. one cartoon if you if you're really interested in cartoons one cartoon i would suggest is peppa pig beautiful language yes ma'am watch that ma'am watch, watch the accents ma that they use okay ma'am ma yes look serious sorry netflix serious Netflix serials, okay, but the language. Don't you think it's a little advanced? No, ma'am. Just, just I'm because. Ah, ma'am, he's vampire diaries. Okay, okay, but uh, <laughs> yes, I'm saying for beginning, watch all these little little things. Okay, watch small clippets of BBC or Discovery. Watch documentaries of Discovery or the National Geographic channel. Yes. This, it is only going to help you it is not going to harm you in any way okay ma'am yes so please listen because as i was saying as this is not our language a lot of it will come from imitating yes listen 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 and finally it gets embedded in you and automatically when you hear a word you will think okay this is the way it said so it will come out that way yes Yes, ma'am. See, look at the example of postman. Yes, we weren't born with the ability to say postman, were we? Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Were you born with the ability to understand that this is postman? No, you learnt it over a period of time, right? you started with your kindergarten and somebody in kindergarten taught you this is o sound this is sir sound and then you learned that this is postman right yes yes similarly yes, similarly if you keep listening to all these videos which i was recommending you will learn that it is not postman it is postman this because of and this because of will automatically come to you because that's the way they speak right learning of languages happens a lot from hearing it got it yes, yes. okay yes ma'am so we just finished one portion of connected speech which is that linking linking sounds, linking sounds. okay and in linking sounds what happens what happens in linking sounds we we hmm. can link words we together. can link two words there is a smooth transition of one word to another yes yes ma'am yes and what happens sometimes a new sound gets added right yes ma'am the most common of linking is what which is the most common linking schwa sound yes schwa sound. sound yes it's the schwa sound and then we also learned that sometimes we add another sound for example in cup of tea it becomes cup of tea the wo sound 
or the W sound gets added or the Y sound gets added. Okay. So, three, uh, four things that we learned today. One is the schwa sound. Okay. Like we said in postman. Okay. Another thing we said is the because of becomes the w sound. Then you said go out. We add the w sound. And the last we said is a I am. I am. This is how we hear it. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Yes. I hope you don't forget this by the time you come for the next class. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay, so Adidev, MB, Arush, Achut, Aditri, Adidev, MJ, Advaita, Alex. Present, ma'am. Ameya, Anne Maria. Anne Maria, absent. Uh, Arjun, Atharv, Adira, Ain, Azad. Yes, yes. Yes. Catherine, Evelyn, Hadi. Okay. Hazel, uh, Hale, Janvi, Joanne, Joerik, Mayasa, Niharika, Niran, Pranav, Prathana, Sri Baddha, Sri Rukta, Srenga. Srenga is absent. No, ma'am, I just saw her. Oh, yes, she's there. Yes, yes. Srenga, Sweden is absent, I think so. Yes. No, I said Sweden, Sweden. Vaishnav. Yes. Vedika, Yuvan. Okay. So thank you, and I'll see you in the next class. Bye bye. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Bye.